This is the Xiaomi 12T Pro. My first experience with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which still sounds like a math equation. I haven't experienced it so far on a Xiaomi device. Before, of course, I experienced it on the OnePlus 10T, but on the Xiaomi device, the latest one that I had was actually the 12 Pro. Therefore, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which actually had some problems with heating up. So let's discuss the heating up and of course gameplay experience with the Xiaomi 12T. Now when it comes to gaming, I often play games, but honestly not that much on my phone. I feel like it isn't as nice and for me just the controls aren't the greatest. But with that being said, it's still a really good test to see how a phone performs in the longevity of it, how it performs with different kinds of games, and of course how overall the use is, especially with the new CPUs that tend to heat up. So today we are firing up two different games and see just how they play. One is called Mobile and of course the other is Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is known for being one of those intense graphic games, but honestly COD is also really looking good on a mobile phone. With that being said, how is the performance on both of these? Well simply put, there is a little bit of heating up, but not too much, just that little fraction of it without it being anywhere near uncomfortable. It's just that tiny bit extra. It's hard to explain how much because I don't really have anything that I can measure the heat with. But with that being said, yes, there is a little bit of heating up, but nothing uncomfortable. And this is playing like 10 games of COD and of course a little bit of Genshin as well. Don't know how long, but at least like 10 minutes as well here. But when it comes to both of these, I will have to say that heating up clearly isn't anywhere near the level of the Xiaomi 12 Pro. With the Xiaomi 12 Pro, without a doubt, I would have noticed it much more. Heck, I have. So therefore, I will have to say that yes, heat has improved a lot when it comes to the Xiaomi 12T Pro. And I will have to say that overall, the gameplay has improved, especially with heating up the phone. That was one of the biggest gripes, I think, with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now let's talk about benchmarking. When it comes to benchmarking, I kind of prefer 3D Mark. This is a good way to test and really stress your system itself and see if there's a lot of heat coming from the phone itself or not. I will have to say, after doing it for several times over and over and over again, yes, it does heat up, but it doesn't have anywhere near the same heating problems that I had on, of course, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 version. But yes, if you are stress testing a phone like this, with benchmarks like these, the phone definitely heats up and quite a lot where it gets uncomfortable to touch. You are really putting a lot of stress on this phone and this is not natural use, but it's still good to test it out and see how in general it has improved. While the Xiaomi 12T Pro has improved in terms of heat management compared to the Xiaomi 12 Pro, I will have to say that in these kinds of tests, yeah, without a doubt, it still heats up quite a lot. But compared to the Xiaomi 12 Pro and some others I've seen using this test, it lasts a lot longer. I can do this benchmark test several times over where I couldn't with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. I think it's actually quite good on the Xiaomi 12T. I'm running of course the Wildlife Extreme Unlimited. This is a bit of a weird name, I find it a bit odd in terms of naming itself, but that's the one where I use it most of the time to showcase how well it does and I could test it several times over. Now, of course, there are situations that you have to account for when it comes to running such a benchmark. It's not always going to be the same. It's not always going to perform as well. There's a lot of situations that you have to count on. For instance, if it's Walmart site and you test it out and it's warm inside then of course as well, then it won't last as well. It cannot run the same benchmark as many times as it does when it's, for instance, colder. This is definitely something that I've noticed and if I run it more often than say six times or something like that if it's warmer inside definitely without a doubt it does say hey watch out your phone is heating up we cannot perform this test anymore and then definitely yes it is hot to the touch itself if you are gaming however i noticed that while it heats up a little bit it isn't bad by any means it's just a little bit warmer if that makes sense it is easy to hold, it doesn't get uncomfortably hot like some other phones I've tested, especially like for instance the Xiaomi 12 Pro, where if I push that one, it could get really uncomfortable while doing that. So after running several benchmark tests and of course gaming, will this phone heat up? Yes, that's not something that we have to understate at all and it's something that is standard with modern phones. There's so much power inside a phone itself, 
without really having like for instance a cooling system that you have in your PC or laptop with a fan for instance that yeah without a doubt it will heat up but in terms of performance in terms of of course having that standard performance run properly longer yeah the Xiaomi 12T Pro is definitely an improvement compared to the Xiaomi 12 Pro I don't think the Xiaomi 12 Pro was bad by any means but if you wanted to really stress it out yes it, it couldn't compete with the Xiaomi 12T at all Either way, the Xiaomi 12T Pro, in terms of CPU performance, in terms of heating up, and in terms of just stress testing itself, has definitely increased. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video about the performance on the Xiaomi 12T. And if you have any specific questions about the device, do let me know. I will keep it in mind for, of course, the full review of the Xiaomi 12T. Either way, hope you enjoyed, and talk to you guys in the next.